Six current gaming trends you are unaware of. Uh, advances in technology brings constant change to the world of video games. Whether it's a new game, new technology, or even entirely new genre, there's always something new and exciting to look forward to. From online poker to NFT filled video games, there's certainly no shortage of trends to look out for. With that in mind, we put together six of the biggest, most influential trends in gaming based on impact, innovation, and level of obscurity. All of these trends are changing the face of gaming as we know it. Augmented reality. Uh, so pa uh, Papa Bear Gaming is a scientist. And uh, I think he works with AI. Uh, and so he, he has a lo whole lot of information about this kind of stuff. Augmented reality is making headlines at the moment with Metaverse on its way to the mass markets. Uh, and Microsoft... Oh, and Microsoft creating an augmented universe of its own. It's safe to say that the next few years could very well redefine the nature of video games. Though the novelty of games like Pokemon Go and Harry Potter, Wizards United has been relatively short-lived. The te technological innovation behind such games is what led to the possibility of something like a metaverse in the first place. Currently, aside from AR social media applications, a wealth of mobile and business oriented companies are investing in AR technology. This will potentially lead to multiple developments in not only the gaming industry, but the vast majority of global industries. So what do you guys think about augmented reality? Have you guys tried VR chat? I know it's virtual reality, but you don't have to have a VR set. You can just do it on your on your um, computer on your pc that's how i played it because i didn't have a vr set but you can go in there and i can see the potential for it obviously people are kind of weird and they start doing freaky stuff um so it's not something that i would be able to stream on this channel uh but what i liked about it is since uh you know i obviously i want to i've been learning japanese for a long time and i want to practice it and even though my regular job you used to allow me to do that since the pandemic i haven't been able to so when i started getting into games and i found a vr chat which is one of the games i have on steam michelle um and i think it's free i jumped in it and i just went to like different servers or whatever they're called and i was you know, find, I found Japanese speakers and I would practice my Japanese with them or I would sp find Spanish speakers and just have a conversation with them in Spanish. So that's the that's the only thing about this augmented reality that excites me is that uh, you can go there and we, you know, obviously I've met some people there. That's how I discovered uh, Discord. A lot of people, I guess, would, would contact each other through Discord. I didn't use it before then. And so I met this Mexican dude and he just kind of guided me around and uh, and he would take me to, uh, I guess, rooms, lobbies, where you can actually watch movies with other people. So even though you're in your computer, uh, you can watch a movie in your game with other people that are not even, the guy was in California or something. And, you know, so I thought that was pretty cool, man. One of the Japanese rooms was just a huge open field of grass and everything was kind of dreamlike. And it has like a little patch of, uh, uh, like a little area with like a, tr a derailed train, but it was kind of old and, and, and pretty. And then you can just kind of run, <laughs> it's a, you kind of frolic in, in the sun and the, and the wind, you can feel the wind through your hair, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Uh, it definitely takes you out of what your current, you know, imagine me, you know, right now I'm in Hawaii, so it's kind of hard to uh, use that analogy. But when I was in, you know, South Central LA or something, and you'd be able to escape that to go into like this faraway land where people, you know, can teach you language and, and, and all that, you know, make friends. That sounds exciting. There's a movie about it too, actually. I can't think of it, but. It's with Sylvester Stallone. Okay, battle passes. Okay. After gardening worldwide attention, the controversy surrounding loot boxes and other explo exploitative forms of microtransactions has forced video game publishers to adopt new monetization tactics, with battle passes being the latest example of this change. Essentially, Battle pass, a battle pass is a seasonal reward system consisting of daily consisting of daily bonuses and achievements milestones enticing players to jump in on a daily basis lest uh, lest they miss out on time rewards or milestones related to playtime battle passes can be seen as a comp compromise between profit 
making and transparent business practices. Unlike the RNG reward system of the past, they provide players with a clear route of progress and offer purchase value based on merit rather than chance. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I keep buying the Fortnite Battle Pass it's just because if you buy it once and you you level up enough, you get you get you basically can pay for the next Battle Pass with what you um, you your rewards were on the previous uh, Battle Pass, if that makes sense. Cross play. Oh, that's in innovative. Really? Console con exclusives are becoming less common nowadays. PlayStation is making PC games. Microsoft is embracing shared connectivity across all gaming platforms. And Nintendo Switch is now home to m many AAA PC games. No matter where you look, gaming is becoming less about your platform or of choice and more about optimal gaming experiences. Crossplay is a consumer-friently change that providers Great, uh, provides greater as accessibility to all that the world of gaming has to offer. With crossplay, it makes no difference of what your choice of console is. If you are on PC and want to play with a friend who has a Switch, crossplay makes that possible. There are also benefits for single players, player games, as progression can be shared across multiple devices. So I think that's one of the major problems that Stadia has right now. A lot of the games, maybe because of the porting system, porting system, um, they don't have, they don't provide crossplay because the Stadia community is still so small. When a big game comes out, comes out like Marvel's Avengers that doesn't have crossplay, uh, or even uh, Outriders, does Outriders have crossplay? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, then it kind of hinders the game in that platform because the multiplayer. Of, of, uh, modes of those games aren't going to be touched and a lot of the times that's the fun part being touched <laughs> I keep looking over here because my wife is there but she has headphones on play to earn blockchain based gaming and NFTs reward systems are quickly gaining tra uh, traction as a fresh take on how we play video games instead of cosmetic microtransactions and battle passes play to earn games allow gamers to earn multiple rewards through time investments play to earn rewards include unique items such as nfts non-fungible tokens which are crypto assets that store the old uh, ownership record of a digital item such as images videos and text I, I mean i understand how those work i don't understand why people buy them blockchain and crypto are fairly new in terms of game design mechanics meaning that there's still a wide variety of potential applications for them thanks to these technologies they Genre knows as play to earn is rapidly growing segments of the gaming industry. I, to be honest, I didn't understand any of this. Uh, streaming platforms, there we go. In terms of adaptation rates, cloud gaming and streaming platforms have, a, have had a slow start compared to other innovative technologies. However, despite the failure of Google Stadia's platform, remember guys, it failed. Services like NVIDIA GeForce now have steadily gained success. So if Stadia is a failure, uh, GeForce is a success. Uh, keep that in mind, guys. That's what the, that's what the, the story is. <laughs> that's what the words on the street. These subscription-based services take most of the expenses uh, associated with high-end gaming out of the equation why spent thousands of th uh, of dollars on gaming pc or console when you can simply buy a tv grab a cloud gaming service and you're good to go and i love the fact that they that it's 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 beautiful man we sh this should be a painting they're sharing all the all the reasons why cloud gaming is going to be great at the same time showing all kinds of confidence of why you know, uh, that same service has, has failed. Uh, no facts, by the way. <laughs> no, no, nothing, nothing to support it. But whatever. Uh, by offering a cost-effective solution for AAA game, gaming streaming services save you from the need to invest in costly hardware. You can enjoy the latest games at up, uh, at up to 4K resolution with 60 frames per second. All setting maxed out with no performance drops or uh, compatibility issues until the internet jumps in stadia has some pretty big news by my standards they announced expanding and triple a games coming this year. yeah this week 
last week and this week were massive but people just weren't patient enough man they just i gotta have it now 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 you know what i mean and i'm not i'm not trying to drop names cowboy but <laughs> it's okay i mean people just want what they want but you can't blame somebody else because you can't have what you want it's silly unless the other person is holding it in your <laughs> you know what i mean i guarantee you if stadia can drop every triple uh, a game out there they would I, I put money on it but they can't virtual reality has exploded in recent years thanks to a combination of travel restrictions and lockdowns the vr industry has experienced unprecedented unprecedented growth in sales uh if i can play a racing game with vr ooh, that would be nice i want to do that does the oculus 2 have racing games that'd be cool i would try that from the oculus quest 2 to ps5 vr fidelity and accessibility have led to incredible progress for vr gaming especially in terms of affordability and performance the Quest 2, for example, is both cheaper and more powerful than its pre predecessors. VR can completely transform a gaming experience, providing a unique form of interactivity that has captivated uh, many gamers worldwide. With a growing library of games, less expensive hardware, and imp improvements on issues like motion sickness, VR is uh, definitely heading in a positive direction. All right, so that's uh, that was interesting. Uh, a little disappointing that everybody has just no idea what uh, what Stadia is up to. Uh, all these uh, publishers here.